it's been a while since we've kind of really recorded anything. We've kind of, well, I have given up on the whole time lapse thing just because we've been very sporadic with our projects. So let's show you where we're at so far. just finished this part of our so this is gonna be still the same we're gonna try to keep it still the same see if everything space wise fits by the time we have two other pieces in here but we still have this for extra storage this is going to be our sink when we get a sink we'll do some more things to it now we just built out where our oven is gonna go and we also created like this little like back piece right here so you can hold like spices you keep saying olive oil but look at what we got. So we bought this one so that we don't have to do cat like drawers. <laughs> so it's like soft. So this is kind of like the one that doesn't have wheels. So it's like one that goes in like your garage and is like stationary. Like, can all like that each brush, drawer holds like a hundred pounds. Give so or take. Definitely way more than we need. Yeah. So. And but, it locks at the top. So whenever we're driving, we can lock it. And all of these must be a rod that connects, but all of them will lock, so they're not gonna fly open. Mm-hmm, while we're driving. And make that turn. Yep. Okay, so it's a mess but we have this wrapped so we don't have any scratches. It's become our new tool chest instead of what we will use it for. But we put two walls up. You may have seen on Instagram if you follow us, this is still more wood to be put as walls other places. Um, so this is what I did today. This is going to be our sink. This is going to be our oven stove combo under storage for like our gray water tank. And that'll probably be like pots and pans our second wall and again just to reiterate wow this is going to be our closet and this is going to be our shower toilet combination even though it looks like a lot of a mess we still have to build that out um and then i'm gonna get him this over to brandon because he's gonna talk about our plumbing how we did okay so to give a quick walkthrough of how we did our water none of this is done it's all kind of just sitting here and we are waiting it's on the way well, yeah we're waiting for a lot more parts so our water pump is there so the line will come up from the bottom obviously go to the water pump and then we'll go to the accumulator and then we have a check valve and then from there our blue line will run to our hot water heater and then it'll come the hot side will come up over and then our shower yeah. is going to be here so it'll tee off to our shower and then it'll continue running to our sink. So I'll come back to that. This is where the tee off ends. And then back at the water heater, the, where it tees off to go to the water heater, it'll also tee off to go to the sink. So that's it sitting there on the two by four. And then it comes back around. So back by the water tank, up. And then here I was talking about is where it tees off in the shower continues and then they both follow each other back behind the closet back to where the kitchen sink will be which is cold and hot and then we'll mess with that when we get our fixtures and Taylor said something about our gray water tank we're gonna have just a simple five seven gallon whatever they sell to catch our water from the sink but we will have a larger I don't know 20 30 40 gallon gray tank for our shower we're not doing any any black tank any sewer any waste any of that no. so that's it for now i'm sure a lot will change like everything no <laughs> not changing anything else
right, so it's getting hot now. Um, that's why I'm all flushed. But there is a few things we've done today um, since kind of like the last little video that I put on here. So we've added a wall. I did the faces of our cabinets. I did the, um, I guess you can call them like an inset floor because there was only like braces in between them and then we were gonna lay a sheet of plywood on top, but it didn't make sense. We were gonna lose another, you know, three quarter inch of space that we could use in there. So instead I put like boards um, or more plywood in there uh, just to make it look seamless. And then we have some plumbing to discuss um, after this, but I'm gonna kind of give you a little walkthrough. So we, uh, we pre-wired our LED puck light wires so we can get ready to put up the ceiling. We have four in here, one, two, three, four. We're gonna have one on a separate switch at the entryway. And then we're gonna have one in our closet that will not be on a dimmer. We will have two in our bathroom that will not be on a dimmer. Yeah. And then another zone, we're gonna have two lights in the bed area that will be on a dimmer. So the bed and the living room will be on a dimmer. We, I wired them with these, uh, these lever nuts. So you kind of just put your negative on one. It's kind of confusing to explain, but you can see how I did up here. So these are already wired. So when it comes to the puck lights, all I'll have to do is insert the only opening hole for the, obviously the positive and then the negative. You move too much. So there's the middle. The middle one is that he's gonna use. So they clip open like this, and then you just put your stripped end in there, and then you lock it in, and it has a secure connection. Cool. And then on the ceiling, my dad is in town again for a while, so he's gonna be helping us, but we came up with this little, because we kept the rear AC, so we're trying to come up with a way to curb the ceiling down. Mm -hmm. And then we have this all on the long side of the driver's side. Yes. And then we're gonna continue with the curve over here for the cedar ceiling. Yeah. And, and we're gonna have a shelf that's running along the entire length of here, so. If we do the same thing as we did on that side, it's just going to cut into our usable space for like that yeah, open shelf. Exactly. So let's figure out something else. So that's it. So I put these two cabinets up. Nobody could ever pay me any amount of money to ever do cabinets ever again. It was a complete nightmare. I had to do like everything twice. But there's that and we'll eventually have some magnets. They're not soft closed, so if you don't, you know, gently close them. <laughs> They'll slam. But there's nice there. Like this one will slam. Got my finger pretty good with those things. This one, Lord, it was a nightmare. This one right here is not gonna be a cabinet. It's gonna end up being a drawer on drawer slides for like our pots and pans or like toaster, like air fryer kind of stuff because that was a nightmare and I'm not doing that again. I was like, oh geez. But yeah, that's it so far. Kitchen's coming along. He's grouchy because it's hot. Also, put in these. So this is our 12 volt USB outlet. This is our 12 volt dimmer switch. He did one over here as well. We've been drawing on our walls. There's that one. That one. Now that you watched our video, it's a little bit of a crazy update. It's over the course of kind of like the last three months. We didn't really have anything specifically planned. It was kind of just a bunch of different projects like here and there. So that's why it's so sporadic and it's more of like an update video instead of like specifically something. So we changed a few things from the layout. We added a drawer, so, or a drawer system, the Husky, um, 
cabinet so that we didn't have to make drawers for our kitchen. Um, you pretty much did majority of the electrical and the plumbing. Put up walls. We did the beautiful cedar ceiling. And we put up another shelf in the kitchen, so. Yep, so everything is pretty much pre-wired the plumbing is all pretty much done just have to test it um like i said the walls went up so we could do the ceiling still have some more ceiling to do still have some more plumbing to do still have some more electric to do but that's kind of like just <clears throat> tying up all the ends yeah, so we could do all that stuff mm -hmm. and um wouldn't be possible without the help of my dad who's in town again he seems to always yes. be in town we're making these videos <laughs> he helped us out tremendously with the ceiling and the walls and everything but um yeah it's coming together so Hopefully our next video won't take that long, but it's kind of exciting because maybe we'll be a lot further in the next video, hopefully. Yep. So, All right. hope you enjoyed. Until next time. Until next time. Bye. It's just stuff that we're talking about. <coughs> Anyways.